Hello, I'm Jason Roten with Primitive Life Training. Um, today I want to discuss making a buck saw. Uh, <clears throat> it's very hard to carry a buck saw in your pack or EDC. Carrying a blade, however, uh, would be a whole lot easier. This is a 21 inch blade and they don't make the kind with the little pins anymore because they got them to where you can just put them in a saw and tighten it down with screws and everything with that. So I had to go and buy these little pins which can be made with uh, twigs or whatever. But basically you have two pieces which are your ends. Uh, this is the piece that you're going to use to saw with. You have your middle piece which will go in between those two pieces and uh, use as a brace when it tightens against it and you have the uh, piece that actually fits in the string that you're going to use to tighten that up and of course some paracord so basically what you're going to have is you're going to have two end pieces uh, pretty much uh, roughly cut the same length <clears throat> and at the top you're going to cut out a notch and this is uh, not going to be cut too deeply because you don't want to uh, affect the strength of the whole entire piece or right up here at the top you don't want to break off when you tighten up so you're going to have a notch at the bottom for this pin to ride in and you're going to have a slit cut for the blade to fit into so we're going to start out by first of all measuring after we've cut our first piece and got it the way we want it we're going to measure and cut out the slots on the same end so basically what we're going to do is make some marks here same thing on this end go make some marks in the wood so that we can see where we want to go with this and uh, I've just basically used some uh, I really don't know what kind of wood this is uh, I don't think it's hickory though uh, I cut it down from in the wood I'm not big on what types of wood to use uh, I, I busted a lot of myths on uh, you got to use this and you got to use that uh, I use what's available to me and I don't have to necessarily know what kind of wood it is especially for something like this now the next thing you want to do I'm going to try to hold this where you can see it is just take that wood out as easily as you possibly can and not try not to go too deep with it uh, you want to go a little deeper on the end that's going to be used for um, sawing because uh, you want that pin to ride and not be slipping out all the time on you so whatever end you're using for that uh, you know you want to go a little bit deeper on that I believe that's the end that I'm going to use so instead of just taking the bark off I'm going to go just a little deeper uh, on that so that I have a nice spot for that pin to ride uh, you're not going to have as much tension on that area as you do the area up top where the cord is going to pull um, on that wood 
Now, I try to get everything kind of smoothed up in there as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want your uh, sides, especially up here where the cord is going to go, you, you want your uh, sides of your cut real smooth because you don't want that cutting into your paracord. So, you want to kind of just take that out. I've already done one side of everything. That way, kind of speeds up the uh, process. Uh, a lot of you have requested that I show you uh, from beginning to finish how I do things. Uh, some some projects this will take a long time, so uh, I do at least half of it uh, beforehand, so that you know I can just show you, especially if you're repeating. Uh, a process from one side to the next uh, there's no need to show you uh, both sides when you know showing you one time on one side is the exact same as the other so uh, like I said on the end where your cord is going to go you don't want to cut too deeply into the wood because you don't want to weaken it um, and you don't want to uh, have any sharp edges if at all possible uh, as you can see this fits pretty much right in my hand uh, when you're sawing you want a good grip uh, good hard wood it's not it's not bendable really uh, that's another good thing so we have a notch cut out for a pin to ride in and we have a notch cut out for a string now next thing we want to do on this piece is we want to get the center of that And that's where we want to uh, cut our slit. I'm using a hacksaw, so basically what you want to do is get it as straight as possible and just Begin your cut. Look at it. Make sure everything is straight. Because you want that blade to ride in there as, as, as straight as possible, or else your cuts on your wood are going to be off. So, we're going to cut into it sort of at an angle. It's straight, but I'm going to cut down into it as far as I want this to go. In one direction, and then I'm going to reverse my uh, wood and start cutting in the other direction. Then I'll come back and cut down from the top. Using those two as a guide. And just cut into it. Until I've reached my desired depth. Every now and then, just kind of check things, make sure you're going straight. You get down to where you stop with one direction. Just 
repeat that process. And what I want to do, I want that slit to go down just to the bottom of that. So that when my blade rides in there, this pin fits right in the center of that. So, continue to cut. until your desired depth is reached all the way across you don't want it as deep as you want it here and deep as you want it here but here in the center it's not that deep now what I like to do is I like to take that buck saw work it down in there and, and work it a couple of times with that buck saw blade just to kind of get that wood to where that blade will fit in there without having to beat it in there with something. And it, it doesn't take much force. You just kind of work it along through there real lightly. Let the saw do the cutting. But once you've got everything done like you want it to be, if that doesn't match up, well, you go a little bit more. Sometimes a little further than what you need it to go is better. And it's always trial and error when you're bushcrafting. Sometimes you might get something to work right the very first time. The next time it may not work out so well. So, my pen is a little bent, so it looks like it's crooked. In all actuality, though, my saw blade is straight. You see how that fits right in that crack. Now, what you're going to have is you're going to have both blades in that at the same time. Now, I'm going to set that down for a minute. While I show you this next step, it's getting hot, so I'm going to take my coat off. <laughs> the next step is the centerpiece. This is going to go in here like this. Now, our paracord will go across the top here, and it will tighten against this piece right here. So, what we've got to do is we've got to bevel both of those ends 
You see, I did one, but not the other, to where they will fit against that wood, and they won't slip out either way when you begin to tighten them. So, we're going to work on this end. And you want to try to make sure that you kind of get both sides. Hello, this is the second part to uh, making a buck saw. My camera cut off so I missed a whole lot of what I was saying. Uh, basically, uh, you, you, you pretty much want everything to be straight and tight. Uh, I'm just going to kind of uh, show you the end product. Uh, I can take it all down and, and show you exactly how. Uh, but basically, what you got is you have your... Uh, saw in the ends here and then you have your center piece across uh, basically the top midsection and then you have your cord tied off and your piece that has twisted the cord and you want the uh, the center piece the brace to be up high enough so that when you get through twisting this piece here uh, resides on it to keep it from slipping and basically what you have now is a buck saw um, we find something here we can test this out on uh, simply by just uh, holding that there uh, this blade is real rough so it really needs to be in something a little sturdier but uh, just to demonstrate uh, the use of the saw I'm going to attempt to uh, cut in here and get this going uh, I don't have anyone helping me uh, film so I'm having to do this all on my own, but in the bush, if you need something to cut, sometimes you're having to do it all yourself anyway, so you can't always rely on others to be there and help you. There you go. Improvised buck saw. This is Primitive Life Training. Hope you enjoy it.